Mortal Kombat! So if you guys haven't seen my last video, which you probably should, it's only a minute 40 something seconds long. Mortal Kombat just released a Combat Pack 1 trailer that's featuring... Uh, I, I, just have to, uh, I just have to say it one more time. Omni Man and Homelander, I said it first. Man? Yeah, that's right. They're releasing Homelander. Hey, yo, what the to Mortal Kombat, and I am so freaking hyped for that because I love me some Homelander. Omni Man's cool too, I guess. But hey, <laughs> you guys already know I'm gonna be making a lot of videos on that. I'm gonna be facing him on my first video. It's gonna be Homelander versus Omni Man. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about guest characters that we would want in Combat Pack 2 or just at all in this game. So it's me and Christian. And we both chose five characters that we would want in this game as guest characters. So how about you start so, us off? Ask, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What's your favorite scary movie? It's a loaded question. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you my favorite horror movie is. I don't know. How, how about this? Who was the killer in Friday the 13th? Well, Jason? You're an idiot. It's his mom. And that's how the first person died in the Ghostface franchise. They need to put Ghostface in Mortal Kombat. What did that have to do with Friday the 13th at all? Yeah, yeah I've never seen Ghostface. Well, I've never seen like... Yeah, stuff, I, I, was so a, so I was doing a... Yeah. I was doing a bit. And now I'm mad. All right. Anyway, anyways. Okay. I, I guess Ghostface would be kind of cool. I don't know. It's just... He, he just doesn't seem like a character that would be in Mortal Kombat. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. Like Dead by Daylight just kind of like made it weird for me. Like I just can't imagine Ghostface being any other way than just like Dead by Daylight. I guess, but like I think if you want to include a horror movie villain that's like from the classics that has not already been in Mortal Kombat, I think in my opinion you're either missing Michael or Ghostface. But Michael plays, but Michael would just play too much like Jason. Ghostface would be kind of cool. That'd be number ten. All right, my fifth choice would probably be John Wick. Now you know we've seen a trend in Mortal Kombat 11 specifically where they would choose like action movie characters, right? So oh boy. I, <laughs> we had Terminator, we had Rambo. Yeah, yeah. We, we had, we had. Robocop and those are some pretty good additions I think now I was thinking either John McClane or John Wick but John McClane just doesn't seem like he would fit as much as John Wick I feel like he'd have a, like a mixture of Aaron Black and and Aaron Black <laughs> yeah base Aaron Black I guess I don't know I think he'd be kind of cool though. like I it's 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 that's why he's on my number five because like I you know he'd be cool to see and I'd like him but like he isn't like my number one Oh, well, I, well, that's a funny, you know, it's a funny thing. I put, I put John Wick as my number three. <laughs> and I was sitting here like, Sh I, I, I wanted John, I've been, I, I'm an avid John Wick fan, by the way. My bad, my bad. It's fine, I got it, I don't, I, I can, I can recover from this. Alright, I hope we haven't, like, got the same ones in any other spot. <laughs> My next one is, in my opinion, a more weirder and goofier pick, but judging from the nature of said character, it would be a cool one. The comic book adaptation of this character, by the way, so no one gets confused. The Mask. For those who don't know, in the in the actual movie of The Mask with Jim Carrey, it's actually tamed down for kids, because in the comics, he is like uber violent. I'm not kidding. Casual, like blood is a casual thing in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a The Mask. Comic. Yeah, I was, about, I was about to say, because when I was thinking The Mask, I was thinking, wouldn't he fit more like Injustice kind of thing? But then you said the comic books are like more gory. I feel like in Mortal Kombat, that would be so unimaginably funny to just see a character who's doing all these cartoon moves and just beating the crap out of all these serious, grudgy, like, err characters. Yeah, I was about to say, like, they, they added the Joker pretty well into Mortal Kombat 11. They made him gory, and, like, they, they showed him how he would actually be in the real world. And I think, like, the Joker was a really good fit. I think they could make the mask work. I, I think that would be kind of nice. Well, my number four choice... Now, hopefully you don't have this on your list, because I know how much you love this character. You know, basically, Anger Incarnate Doom Guy. Doom guy. Was he on your list? He's my number one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, I'm hijacking. No, nah, I'm hijacking this segment. You don't right. understand. Mo play the do play Doom music over this. I want. Right. I, you don't understand I how much it, I love Doom. The bo the overarching violence, the gore. This man, you throw this man into Mortal Kombat, you don't understand what's about to happen. I need this man ripping out Scorpion's entire spinal cord from his sides and they're still and just rip him in half all the guns all the gore he has so much to offer in a mortal combat and god damn it 
I think it's so plausible that he can make it. He Can't believe I just got hijacked in my own segment. Well, yeah. Oh, my bad. He was my number one, man. You can't. I, he was my number I one. I mean, I guess I could add on to that a little bit. Like, you know, he's basically just uh, the oh. nightmare version of Master Chief. Like, he he's got the guns. He, they made they made Spawn work pretty well. I think they can make Doom Guy work very well. So my next. I guess since you decided to just steal my whole flow, <laughs> I guess you're next. My number three. Well, what originally is John Wick is now going to be. <laughs> Uh, the groovy man, the groovy man himself from the Evil Dead series, Ash Williams. He got he got booted out of the MK11 from what I heard, and got replaced with the Joker, which <laughs> I'm not mad about. But I'm just saying, get my man needs his get back. Let let bro cook. I could definitely see him being a good character. I probably wouldn't play him myself, just because I'm not really a big fan of that whole of, of like Evil Dead and stuff like that. For my number three choice, um, this one is close to my heart right here, because I I think it could happen. It could very well happen, and if it did happen, he would be right in place with the whole thing. I'm gonna have to say number three is Logan or Wolverine. Like, okay. tell me Wolverine wouldn't be perfect for this. He's got the claws. He could start ripping people apart. I think he would have some pretty good dialogue with like Baraka for some reason. Why? Mm -hmm. But like, you know, they're, they're well, both <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. <laughs> He's gonna start ripping people apart, especially the Logan from, you know, the Logan film. Like, that, that would, he, he's just brutal. And I feel like he could fit into Mortal Kombat pretty well. Now, is was Wolverine in your list at all? Uh, he was number two, but I, don't worry, I got, I, You're I got lying. someone. I got You're someone. lying. Yeah, I, I got someone, I got someone, don't worry about it. I got oh, someone replacing me. All three of my characters so far was just right from this list. That's, I'm so, I'm, I'm sorry, man. All right, what you got? What you got? I'm talking about, I'm saying, if you, you put the turtles in Injustice, oh my so God. put Shredder in Mortal Kombat. Uh, okay, all right. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, I was thinking about it, but I don't, yeah, let me explain it to me. Cook. Explain it to me. I mean, he, I mean, what's not, I mean, what's there not to, what's there not to, lo what's there not to love about Shredder? Shredder, Shredder recently got in the cod, in the cod, which is fun, which is funny because also Homelander got in the cod. I think he's in. I think he is. Yeah, he's in COD. Hey, I'm just saying. There's a correlation. Homelander got into COD what? and he's in Mortal Kombat. If Shredder was in Mortal Kombat, like you, you, like, cause Shredder was always to me a way more violent character than people talk about. This man's a complete men. This man's a complete menace. Bro has so. Bro has swords. He has blades on his ar arms. He's a. He has armor, and I'm just saying the ninja-like aesthetic. You know how many ninjas there are in Mortal Kombat already? You're right. Scorpion, 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 Sub Zero, Smoke, Rain, Katana, Melina. There's so many ninja people in Mortal Kombat. Now this isn't in my list, but I'll raise you one. That's because you said Shredder. I say, well, this isn't in my list, so I'm not like I'm not. I'm just gonna be like real quick about this. The last Ronin, like Ninja Turtle. I don't know if you know who that is. It's Michelangelo when he was like when when all his brothers were dead. It was just yeah, him. So long story, so long story short, yeah, one of the comics, uh, all the turtles died, and there was this person called there was a turtle called the Last Ronin, and it's like a mystery who it is until they reveal that Michelangelo was the last turtle. He uses all the turtle weapons and stuff, and, he's and he dead. has no, and he has no core. He doesn't have any damn. He does not care. He will kill anybody. But in my number two spot, we got. Darth Vader, of course. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a very low chance that Darth Vader actually gets added to Mortal Kombat. I de I'm not holding my breath for it at all. But on the off chance that they add Vader, he'd be amazing. All right, now tell me. Tell me he wouldn't be perfect. He's got the lightsaber. He literally cuts people in half for a living. He yeah, like like and they take away the blood, but like if they didn't take away the blood, bro, he would be perfect. He's got the force. He can throw things. He's just menacing, bro. Put some blood on that costume, it's over. Imagine he gets attacked and then like his battle damage is him like with his like his cracked mask and you just see his orange eyes. Bro, that would be perfect. Like like this guy, he, he he's he's perfect for 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 for, for Mortal Kombat. All right, so now we made it to the moment you've been waiting for this whole time. Our top two favorite characters. This is his number one choice, and this is my number one choice. And 
I don't know what he's gonna say yet, but if this is his number, it was gonna be Doom Guy, but I kind of stole that from him. Sorry. Yep. So I'm curious who his, who his new number one choice is gonna be. These are the characters that we really want more than anybody. I would sacrifice my firstborn for this. Oh. <laughs> All right. It was a character I hold near and dear to my heart. And goddamn, if he made it into Mortal Kombat, there would be. Oh my lord, there'd be no question. I would never be the same person I was 10 minutes ago. Me or he was my main man, Deadpool, bro? Get the f out! <laughs> he was in my honorable mentions, I'm not gonna lie. Now, you know, you don't even have to explain why Deadpool would be a perfect character, but you know, just just because we're here now, why don't you tell us why? Oh, 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 no, no, let me. Alright, one new movie, com new movie coming out. Perfect, perfect promote, perfect cross cross promotion. Two violent, violent, violent as all hell. You ever seen that scene where he, the Juggernaut literally rips him in half, and we get to see all the gory nature of it all? Beautiful, beautiful. The personality. Do you can you already imagine Deadpool referencing other Mortal Kombat games to characters, even though they have no idea? Like, what what are you talking like what are you talking about? So I'm like, Fire is like, how do you know what happened in the last realm? Like I paid, I paid for the aftermath DLC. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> that would be perfect. That would be perfect. Hell, get that person who voiced him in the Deadpool video game to do it again just for this. Perfect. perfect. Everything down, down to the last <laughs> minute detail. Minute detail. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. My number one pick. Now, my number one pick was obviously gonna always be Homelander, but. Uh, like we all know, he's already coming to the game, so I can rest happy. <laughs> but if it's not Homelander, my number one choice will be Reverse Ooh. Flash. Tell me, uh. Reverse Flash is going to be a perfect character to add to Mortal Kombat. Now look, they have Flash and in like Injustice and stuff. They have Cabal in Mortal Kombat, so you can't tell me they couldn't add Reverse Flash. They got the DC IP. They could just call him up, like he was saying earlier before I was recording. You can just call him up with one quick phone call, be like, "Yo, I want this character added." They'll be like, "Yeah, that's good. That's cool. That's cool." And boom, that's it. That's all you gotta do. He's quick. He's brutal. He's the most petty supervillain, bro. You can't tell me not. He's perfect. It's great, but. That was our top 10 choices for the Mortal Kombat, Combat 2, Combat Pack 2 wish list, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. But that, those are the characters that we would want. If you guys disagree or have any characters you guys would want to share, let us know down below. Like the video or dislike it if you dislike it. But yeah, that was fun. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to yeah. see Homelander vs. Omni-Man sometime in the near future. That's going to be cool. Albert, Wes Albert Wesker for Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> okay. And on that note, goodbye.